What's up? I am uh, about to go somewhere, so I don't have much time. Actually, I'm late. I just wanted to say hi before I don't have time to get on here anymore. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Um, I just wanted to say, I did, we just did a video. Uh, we recorded a, a live video for this hi Acacia, what's up guys? Um, for the Native American Youth Conference called the Warrior Leadership Summit. I got to go there a couple times and um, I love our Native youth and um, and I wish there was more that I could do to just see those powerful people rise up and take their place in be everything that they're created to be because they're just such powerful, creative, awesome people. And um, I know I've talked about this before, but uh, my uh, my father, um, well, my mom says my father, I never actually got to meet my father. He died when I was 16 and um, they split up when I was young, but she said that she saw a picture of my grandmother on the wall in his house and she said she was full native she was full native full blood native Cherokee and she was in like full native dress and all that and so um when I looked back at the Dodge rolls to to see if if I could find any of that I don't think we were able to um keep our name on the Dawes rolls but anyway, I love, I've always loved the Native culture and I've always loved Native people. So I was so excited to get to do that today. What's up, guys? What's up, Kristen? And um, uh, I, it, it just inspired me because I think so many people don't know, just, just don't know that they are powerful. They just don't know how powerful they are. And I just want to tell you today because somebody out there needs to know that you were created just with so much power inside you. And we feel like this time so many people feel so crushed. And one of the reasons why, is, especially in America, is that we're starting to feel what it means to be free. Because we're starting to feel our freedom sort of like getting squashed a little bit. <laughs> You know, um, so many things are being taken away and the whole thing about you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, hey, Stevie, I love you. Um, hi, Naveed. I miss you guys so much. I never get on here anymore. I am so, I am so working really hard to be present with my kids. And uh, I have two boys I'm homeschooling and a two-year-old running around and a dog that will not leave me alone. See him, he's like bummed that I'm not like hanging out with him right now. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to be present, and that has been so healthy for me. Um, I want to give you permission to be present in case you don't, because the whole world feels like it, everybody needs you, everybody needs you to shine your light, and that's true. But also, the most important thing is to be present with the people in front of you if you can, you know. Please do that. Please have permission to do that. Um, our relationships face to face are really important, and like I think they're super, super important. It's so important. So, um, anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've given myself permission to be present with the people in front of me, and I haven't got on as much online, and that's been good for my heart. And uh, so, I just want you to have permission to do what's good for your heart, to follow peace. Uh, that's really important. And um, fall is coming. Well, I just had my 12-year wedding anniversary. And I just had my 39th birthday. I'm so excited to be 39. I'm excited. I wish I was already 40. I think that's glamorous. <laughs> I love getting older. I don't ever want to have to go through the lessons I learned before. <laughs> I'm glad I'm growing. I want to grow. And if I'm not, oh, God, help me. I just want to grow and you know my soul I want my soul to grow you know so hopefully each year I can get a little wiser and grow a little more so um 
I'm so excited. Yeah, my birthday was on September 4th and my anniversary was on September 6th. 12 years, that's crazy. And I thank you so much for your birthday wishes and happy anniversary wishes. I saw those. That was so, you guys are so kind. And um, yeah, I love it. Um, thanks. And um, it's just been a great, it's just been, it's just been great to like, yeah, just reevaluate what's most important. And I think that's what this season is teaching us, right? We have to figure out what's most important in life. You know, we say all day long, we aren't our jobs and that we're more than just, you know, we watch these movies and see people, you know, like Elf, he left his job so he could be a good dad. And like, I just, I don't know why I used Elf as an example, but, but there's all these examples of stories out there, like about how we would, you know, we know what's important. Family's important. People are important. And then we lose all these things and we wonder who we are. I don't know who I am anymore. But we actually have the tension in place to make us, you know, really bring to the surface who we really are. So I just want to say you're powerful and you're beautiful inside. And yes, yes. Um, and And so get to know that what has been hidden inside us we don't even realize what's been hidden away and what needs to be unlocked you know in this season of pressure and tension you know um what we need to deal with the crap that comes out of this time like man i didn't realize i was such a jerk sometimes i didn't realize i could be so hateful and so frustrated and impatient and need to deal with that stuff and that's that's good too we think so much of ourselves and then we realize maybe I, you know, need to chill out and work on myself. So, anyway, there's all kinds of stuff like that going on in my life right now. <laughs> but, thanks for, um, you guys checking out the Octane Home Invasion performance we got to do. Remember when I did that makeup tutorial on here? Um, that was for the Octane Home Invasion. We did that that long ago. And then tonight we got to do this this uh, show for the Native youth. And um, I also got to do this really awesome secret that's coming up. I love it. I got to do a guest vocal on one of my favorite artist songs ever. And I'm not telling you. <laughs> You'll find out when it comes out. Um, and... Um, of course, I'm still working on stuff with Ben. We're sending stuff back. We're hopefully going to keep sending stuff back and forth. So anyway, today is one of my friend's birthday celebrations. So I'm about to go celebrate. And um, yeah, how many Native youth were present? Oh, well, I recorded it. It was for a live. I, um, actually, I did it live, but it was recorded for them to see online. So I'm not sure how many will get to view it or how they'll do that, but it's an online festival. Right, thanks for asking. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll try to, thanks for the, saying that about the Breaking Benjamin thing, that was so fun. And uh, Dear Agony, yes, I was so honored to get to be a part of that. I loved being a part of that. Um, and I'll try to sign on sometime soon again with Josh and we'll we'll play some music and sing your lyrics, all right? So think about that if you would wanna what you would wanna put in there. Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Love you all. Bye.